Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I welcome you. I am Virginie, an interior designer, and I deal with houses that represent 100% where to leave them, from consulting to the entire renovation process. I also help foreigners who want to buy and renovate in Italy to support them all the process long, otherwise difficult to follow from a distance. In this channel, I will talk about home and renovation, trying to give you helpful tips so that you can have your dream house, a house that represents you in death and where you will always feel at your ease. Decorating and furnishing a home is exciting. And in today's video, I'd like to give you some tips that can help you to do it the best for a home that represents you deeply. But before we get started, if you love everything related to the home and renovation topic, remember to subscribe to my channel for more information on this subject. Don't forget to click the like button because it's the best way to support this channel and my content and I truly appreciate it. Good design is not only about aesthetic. It's not enough to put beautiful things in a room for it to be lovely and comfortable. More importantly, it's about how each element can communicate with the other. So it's not just a matter of beauty, but it's a proper interaction between the elements of the same environment. Some basic concepts are crucial to designing or transforming any environment, making it unique and wonderful. Each thing must be connected to the other and give a sense of unity. These concepts that will help you best decorate your home are six. Let's see them together. Emphasis. Said like this may sound tricky, but it's not. It is about creating a focal point. So it is having something outstanding that grabs attention. If everything in the room has the same importance, everything will seem somewhat unconnected, monotonous or boring. There is a need for something that attracts, that somehow breaks the pattern. That can be a wall with a bold color, a painting or a particular object. Contrast. In order to create movement, it is relevant to put elements close together that contrast with each other through colors, shapes, materials or sizes. It can be done in many ways, for example, combining light and dark colors, huge elements with small ones, shining and made surfaces and so on. This contrasting plays and live in the environment by giving it character. In furniture, rhythm is achieved by creating repetitions and contrast. It is like the combination of musical notes, only this one is visual. The repetitions create a flow that guides the eyes through the surrounding space. You can do it in various ways, a repeated architectural detail, object or complement, use the color of a painting in the patterning of a pillow and in some object, the ladder will create rhythm precisely, but it will also help create balance and tie all the various elements together. Speaking of balance, this is the fourth concept for a perfect interior project. Balance is the proper distribution of different visual weights. Some colors, shapes or sizes attract more than others and are said to have a greater visual weight. To achieve a harmonious environment, it is paramount that these do not overpower what has less visual weight, but that there is indeed a balance. 
On paper, the perfect balance is symmetry, which is when dividing a room in half, the two parts are furnished in the same weight. It is as if uh, there is a mirror. Why did I write on paper? Because it is not mandatory that everything is symmetrical to achieve a balance. On the contrary, a symmetry could make everything more dynamic. A color with a high visual weight will balance well with a neutral colored element, but perhaps very large. Scale and proportions are basic concepts when designing furniture. Scale takes into consideration the size of an object relative to the room in which it is placed. Small rooms with furniture that is way too blocky will suffocate the space and therefore you. Conversely, small furniture and objects in large rooms will get lost. Proportion takes into consideration the size of one item in relation to another. A rug that is too small next to a large sofa will look out of place. You cannot think only about the size of the room and the main furniture, but you will have to think about the size of each element and the correlation between them. You can achieve harmony when all the elements in the environment communicate with each other, creating a unique and balanced whole. One must have the impression that each piece nicely matches the other. As always, this does not mean using only one style or color, but it is paramount that each piece seems to belong to the other in some way. To do this, you need, as mentioned before, for the pieces to communicate with, it, with each other, picking up the material or color, for example. These six concepts go hand in hand, and if followed carefully, they will help you decorate your home by creating unique and spectacular environments where you will always feel at ease. <laughs> I hope the video was helpful and you'll love it. In case, let me know with a thumbs up and in the comments. Please feel free to share this video with someone you think might be interested in the topic. I will be honored and it will help me to grow my channel. If you feel that your home or some environment of it does not reflect you enough, don't wait any longer and book your consultancy. Just contact me, you find my contacts in the description box below. If you already haven't done it yet, remember to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you will not miss the upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.